see what you think of it. After a goddamn month, and I keep telling her every goddamn time, stop buying these stupid flat screens. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna stay, they're not gonna last, they break faster and faster yeah, each time. Yeah, I can get what you're saying. My sister has a problem, like when she keeps buying her son a new heart every year, or every, like, how far? Twice a year now, and like, the kid's gonna die. He's just gonna fucking die. Like, she keeps buying hearts because it's like the kid says it's a, a trend in school or something. Like, you need that to live. Why you keep getting new ones that break faster and faster each time? It's crazy. It's not just hard stool, you know? I think people are doing it with lungs. Yeah, I heard about the lungs. Uh, they haven't caught on yet, though. I think it's just by, like, another company trying to do something, like, something that's not quite what the original is, but not quite, like, a bootleg, like, uh, like a wannabe, like a wannabe product. I think that's what they're going for, but I don't think it'll ever catch on. Hey, remember the kid Tyler Bigum from fifth year high school? Uh, Oh yeah, whatever happened to him? <laughs> mm, I saw him and oh my god, he's not aged well. What's wrong with him? Wait, wait a minute. Was it cause of that plastic surgery he got like freshman yeah, year? Um, but like the plastic, he didn't get it removed. His face is just really small and it's hilarious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like no one was laughing at him. Like do you not see this human spectacle? This absolute marvel of disproportionate faces is just walking around the earth like he's not the second ugliest human ever. Yeah. And you don't want to just point and laugh at him. This poor son, this absolute poor God. I pity him. This was in public? This was in public. It was a public area. Like, everyone could see this guy. This lesser human. And I don't know how he sleeps at night. Hey, don't buy those. What? Don't buy those. They make you look like you probably get off to weird you stuff. You mean like you? Mm. I'm just saying, my boyfriend and I are happy the way things are right now. Mm -hmm. There's no way that, like, I'm gonna put a baby in this relationship and ruin the whole flow. Kids are the worst. My dad keeps asking when he's gonna see grandchildren, and I don't have the heart to tell him that me and Jazz had this discussion and we're not having kids fair and simple. I've dealt with kids firsthand, and I can just say it's not worth it, 100%. I mean, it's not the same as when I was like a teenager just watching random kids. Back then, I just called them ugly to their face. They'd go to bed early, and I'd get paid and probably never see them again. Dumb idiots can't even put themselves in bed. Yeah. How am I supposed to put up with that? <laughs> yeah, and I bet you couldn't afford them with all that, uh, them drawings. I am losing my concentration because I am so pissed at you. Don't try to be the fing victim here. It's my man! It was investigating. Investigating what? Investigating if my best friend was ordering weird drawings online. Does your boyfriend know about this? If you think for one goddamn minute that this is about me, well, guess what? This is your mistake, and I'm calling you out. If you go piss up an escalator, I don't give a shit about what you do. Just take your stupid ass essence out of my life. You're dirt. You're a fing flea. One of these days, someone's gonna come and check on you in your apartment, mm -hmm. and you've already died of an unknown natural cause. And I'll show up to your funeral and tell everyone that I'll tell everybody born hit me that off the swollen anime boys' knees. Let's rub our knees together on our arm so she'll get flustered in hell and you think? Your mom doesn't know. I texted him a minute ago. What? Do you realize how many problems you've caused for goddamn everyone? You're pathetic. You were never good at anything. Go, Go home, home and die. die.